Let's up, gentlemen. Let's obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch the come out the bell. Good luck to both of you. Steve Lara against Radimus Garcia. Now, this is going to be a rematch from their uh, amateur fight that uh, Garcia won. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Garcia has a real special move. Um, it's so special that I can't think of a name for it, but it's uh, a sort of a like a neck crank uh, headlock that he gets his yeah, opponents in. Yeah, I call it like a street fight, side headlock, modified neck crank. I don't know what to call it, but this guy's a stud. And uh, Garcia starts off real aggressive here, landing a couple of uh, good punches. Um, Lara uh, trying to neutralize him. There, there he's, going for, he's, he's going, going for it. He's going for the neck crank again, and uh, Lara slips out of it. Lara, Lara got caught in that neck crank the first time. I, I don't think he's going to let it happen again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he trained on uh, how to defend that after his uh, amateur loss to Garcia. Lara is a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu purple belt. He said it was an easy weight cut. He looked really relaxed when I talked to him before the fight. And, uh, yeah, he takes the back. Both of these guys really working uh, their grappling game here. Nice straight punch. Beautiful straight punch by Garcia that knocks Lara down. Lara trying to get back up to his feet now. There he goes for that. It's like natural instinct for him, isn't it, Obi? He just likes that side headlock position. Well, he's been successful with that headlock um, position so many times that he automatically goes for it anytime he smells blood or he gets a chance to. He's going to go for it. And I won't be surprised if I see it again here tonight. These body shots by Garcia look like they're going to add, add up eventually as the fight wears on. Now... Laura needs to create separation because uh, La uh, Garcia is definitely one in the clinch game uh, with those little short, dirty box of punches he's throwing. And he's, uh, you can see he's really connecting. Uh, Laura's nose is busted up. Uh, it looks like he's uh, breathing very hard. But he's still fighting back, though. There you see Garcia change levels. Goes for the double leg. Double leg. Gets it. Takes him down. Garcia, very, very uh, strong in his grappling game. Very powerful fighter here. I mean, it looks like it. He looks like a huge 135er. And um, Lara swinging wild here. Busted up at the nose. Garcia initiates the clinch again. But this time he's like, up against the fence. Which I'm sure he doesn't mind. That's where he wants to be at. I believe Lara needs to, in order to be successful, he needs to create separation and uh, work a little bit of stand-up against uh, Garcia. Nice, beautiful body punch by uh, Garcia. Lands it again. Garcia is working those uh, kidney shots. Those body punches can be worse than getting knocked out with a facial shot. You see here, uh, Laura's face is uh, really busted up. Looks like he has a... Uh, nose could be broken at this time, but ain't no telling. Garcia slowing the pace down a little bit. Laura lands a pretty good uh, hook, a right hook. And back on the fence they are. Garcia had kickboxing stud James Terry in his corner. It makes me wonder if his game plan was to come in here and stand and bang. Well, Garcia's got to be pretty confident coming into this fight because he knows he's beaten Lara before. Um, just have to go back to film, find out what advantages he had during that fight, and uh, explore it. Now they're fighting professionally. He's got a swing like for the fences. Lara's swing real heavy punches here. Garcia not backing down. And this is uh, turned into a brawl. Lara's on the short end of the stick. And for those fans who have never been in an MMA fight before, these four ounce gloves hurt when they land on your face. They hurt bad. It's not like boxing to where you have a lot of cushion. These really uh, thick, thin, 
four ounce gloves can do some uh, heavy damage when they connect to your face or any part of the body, so to speak. Seemed like a very wise decision for Garcia to take the fight to the ground. It looks like Lara was overwhelming him for a minute. And the round coming to an end here. Um, Garcia has owned most of the fight, and he's going to finish on top for this round. That was a good round. Uh, I say so far, by the looks of things, Garcia is definitely more aggressive, and he's winning the fight. He uh, ate a few punches here by Laura, but uh, it wasn't enough to do a significant damage. So let's see how uh, this next round goes. What do you think? Oh, man, I'm interested to see how Laura is going to come out in the second round. He got rocked a couple times, but so did Garcia. So I don't know. The, the second round is going to be interesting. I, I know Laura is focused. I talked to him uh, before the fight. He said he really wants to get this win back. It's not personal, he's not looking for revenge, but he, he wants to win because he's had a bumpy professional uh, career, Obi. He had a, a, a really respectful amateur career, but it, he said he has struggled since uh, debuting for his pro fight. Yeah, I, I was, if I was uh, Laura, I don't know about him, but I would be taking this fight personal because uh, Garcia beat him during an amateur fight. And now, this is his opportunity to redeem himself at the pro level and uh, show that uh, he belongs in this division. You gotta love watching a fighter like Radimus Garcia. He looks like he just has fun when he goes out there. Yeah, he does. He's looking in the crowd, pointing to his fans, his friends, his family. Listen, uh, good cardio shape, physical shape at the same time. Very uh, cut and muscular, and uh, this comes from hardcore training. <clears throat> and Lara is uh, being the aggressor this round. He knows he's got to score some points. Um, he's got taken advantage of the last two rounds. Garcia staying at a comfortable distance. Landed a nice outside leg kick right there. Garcia's uh, staying, uh, like you said, at a comfortable distance, picking his shots, and he's uh, landing pretty good shots. Um, but he needs to slow down a little bit and uh, focus on his technique. Hey, it looks like Lars nice. regaining his confidence. What do you think? I think he is. He just landed a beautiful Dancing inside around, leg kick. Throwing some nice leg kicks. Looking at Garcia, jumping at him, saying, hey, come on, let's let's go. And he's got Garcia backing up. Beautiful roundhouse to the body by Lara. Both fighters in uh, outstanding shape. Garcia is working on the legs here. Perhaps to distract uh, Lara from uh, focusing on uh, Laura looks to be fight back. Laura looks to be the much busier fighter in this round. Garcia looks like he's a little more conservative. Must may, maybe I, I'm not sure, but it might have something to do with those big muscles. What do you think? Well, he could. Be, uh, I don't see him being too fatigued here. I just think he's being a little bit more careful because the last round he got caught with a couple of punches. Right. Um, even though he is winning the fight, he knows uh, if he could just uh, you know last out this round. Um, he'll win the fight, or he's definitely trying to set uh, Lara up for a, a, a knockout, or like let's say his uh, his main move, which is the, the the neck crank headlock. Lara has just found his groove in this round. I can re I can really enjoy watching him fight. Yeah, Lara coming back from a uh, nice nice right hook by Lara. Lands on Garcia's chin. Laura is definitely pushing the pace here. Nice stiff jab. These guys are 135ers, but man, it sounds like they hit hard. Yeah, you can hear 
when the fist connects, you can hear it all the way from down here, whether it's a leg kick or a, or a punch that lands. It almost sounds like a slap to where the uh, sweat's flying off. Yeah. I mean, I'm glad they're not over here fi fighting close to us because blood will be flying all over us, Obi. Uh, nice Garcia sprawl. attempts takedown, but uh, Lara spoils and defends the takedown really yes. well. Let's see if Radimus can complete this takedown or at least get in an advanced position. Garcia is just kind of leaning on Laura, holding on here. Perhaps he's going to work another takedown. Because uh, he can have the chance for a double leg right now if he, uh, if he uh, stoops down for it. What I want to see is Garcia grab a single leg and, and dump Lara on his butt, yeah, but it looks like takedown. it looks like Garcia's more more geared to leaning on him and smothering him right now. Yeah. Perhaps it's fatigue. Perhaps he doesn't want the single leg. I'm not sure. Lara expects it, so he's uh, defending it pretty well. Referee getting ready to separate both fighters here. Get it back to the middle. Tell you what, Lara's uh, scoring some punches. Yeah, Lara's against the cage, but it looks like he's the busier fighter right now. coming to an end here. And uh, this is a pretty, pretty uh, close round. I would have to give it to Lara. It looks, yeah. like, it looks like he was a busier fighter. Lara definitely was a busier fighter this round. Um, and he uh, scored some points. Made up for one round. But uh, the first round, Garcia definitely came out on fire. But it was close, Obi. It, yeah, it was close. Was I mean, fight. you know what? That's why we're not uh, judges, and I don't want to be a judge because fights like this, they can be tough to score. Yeah, very tough to score fight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen out there, uh, I went to a referee school and down in Valencia, L.A., where uh, Big John's uh, school, and there's a lot of things that the, the judges have to look at. It might look different in your eyes when you're watching a fight from at home. There's a lot of different things that the judges are told to look at, and that's how they score the fight. Uh, they look at, I know that they look at aggression. I know, I know that they looked at uh, strikes landed. And uh, they look at the overall part of uh, both uh, fighters. So you see James, James Terry in the corner of Garcia telling him, hey, let's go. Third round, third and final round, let's go. Laura looks pumped. Looks like Laura has a, a pretty little bump on the left side of his face. You see it, Obi? Yeah. On his temple right there. Almost uh, <laughs> makes him look like a caveman, that lump so thick. Got the bony eye ridges. His wife and mom in the audience is going to love it. And now, uh, my beautiful roundhouse by Lara. I see her landing a couple of upcuts. Looks like Lara is trying to control the octagon. Excuse me, octagon. Yeah. That had a nice jab right there. Tell you what, that lump on the left side of uh, Lara's eyes is looking real nasty. I don't know if that was from a headbutt or from a striking strike exchange or, or what, but it doesn't look cute from here. Yeah, it happens. It happens, man. Sometimes I get in a fight and I, I be having all types of bruises. I'm like, man, where did this bruise come from? Yeah. I wonder if Laura even notices it. Right now, he's just focused. I don't think he does. I think he's looking to take Garcia's head off right exactly. now. Exactly, which you shouldn't focus on during a fight. You can look at all that after. Right now, you're... The focus should just be winning the fight. That was a, a good body punch landed by Garcia, followed by two straight punches. Garcia has slowed down a lot in this round. Garcia has a bleeding coming from his right ear, and uh, I believe that's from one of the left hooks that uh, Laura had landed on him earlier in the fight. Nice. Nice straight right, beautiful straight right by uh, Laura. Connects. To Garcia's chin, Garcia shakes it off. Referee warning the fighters to keep their fingers, uh, excuse me, keep their uh, their hands closed. 
doesn't want to see an inner burden. Nice oh. jab by Laura. Lands again. Laura's really uh, picking his punches this round, and he's uh, getting very technical. Yeah, he's, he's found his groove, Obi. I just heard someone in the audience yell. Nice. Excuse me. I, I just heard someone in the audience yell, knock him out. You know, sometimes I, I wonder what is going on in their mind. Like, the fighters are like, oh, why didn't I think of that earlier? I'll just <laughs> knock him out. Like, it's that easy. Well, when they watch <laughs> the fight, you know, they, they some of these uh, fans don't know, you know, how technical or how hard it is to be in a fight like this where you, you're going against a good opponent and, uh, you know, you're fatigued. It's the last round. You want to do good. You know, you're nervous. You got to put all that into play when you uh, get in the fighter's mindset. So it's easy just watching the fighters just change from the outside. It's not easy to knock a person out, especially if he's a skilled or, or better skilled than you. Lara controlling the cage right now. It looks like he's dancing around, having Lara's fun. picked up some fire here. He's got some good movement going around the ring, you know, bouncing around, picking his shots, landing punches. And uh, Garcia is just kind of hanging on here. This this could pretty much even the fight in the judges' eyes because this is the type of things that they look for. Who's still fired up? Who's still engaging? And uh, who's still uh, 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 landing strikes and, and punches and uh, looks fresh? Exactly. I, I would say these fighters have to go for it. It's a really close fight. I have no idea who's winning at this point. Who I knows? get the first two rounds to Garcia and the these last two, um, looks like Lara's pretty much owning it. Yeah, but who knows what these judges are thinking sometimes, man. Yeah, like I, I said you. just a moment ago, there's a lot of different things they look at, so I won't be able to call it right now as this fight is the way the, this fight is going right now. Nice body shot before going upstairs by Lara. Lars' coach is telling him, you got to go, you got to go. Initiates the clinch against the fence. Guess it looks like double underhooks. Uh, good knees thrown by uh, Garcia here, but his uh, backspin against the fence. He needs to, Garcia needs to be as aggressive as he was the first round because that first round, he was on fire. He scored a lot of point, punches and, um, you know, basically took control of that. Now, these last two rounds, he hasn't been showing that much heart. I don't know if he's getting fatigued or he has less confidence now that uh, Laura had picked up the pace. One last takedown attempt by Garcia. Let's see if he gets it. Yeah, but he's going to... He's going to... Uh, uh, doesn't yeah, get he it. doesn't get it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap for this fight. That fight was brought to you by Bud Light. Thank you, everyone at home, for supporting us, me and Obi, the Dragon House promotion. We would be nothing without you fans, so thank you very much. Dragon House 18, you got to love it. Let's give a shout-out to John Lowe, who spends endless of time putting this uh, fight together for the fans, for the fighters. It's a lot of hard work to put together an event like this not something easy, and uh, we would like to thank John Lowe for all that he does for Dragon House. And another shout out to all the fighters, Obi, because, man, I, I've, I've fought my fair share of fights, and uh, I'm still amazed at how some of these fighters do it for a living. It's, it's tough, and uh, these, these, uh, these guys and girls, excuse me, you know, not necessarily just males. We have a, a female 125 fight tonight, uh, but man, these, these fighters it's a grind. And I gotta, I gotta agree with you there, Brady. I was uh, back in the locker room with uh, Milton Rodriguez, who's one of the lead referees here at Dragon House 18, and um, talking to these fighters, and uh, you know, just what goes through their heads during the fight, everything, giving them the rules. It, it's a lot for a, a, a fighter to deal with. Uh, the mindset of a fighter, you could, there's so much emotion, so much stuff that goes on, you can write a book on it. And I can, like Bill Rodriguez said, tell the fighters, win or lose, you're always a winner if you step in this cage.
It takes a lot of courage, a lot of confidence, a lot of heart, and a lot of pride to be able to step in this cage and go toe to toe with anybody, whether you lose or win. You gotta give it up to Steve Lara. I mean, he said he had a rocky professional first couple fights, and uh, man, he bounced back strong. It was a really nice performance by him. Yeah, I gotta say, Lara did much better this fight than he did his amateur fight against Garcia, so uh, he's got to feel pre pretty good about that. And you can look at uh, Garcia, looks like he's been in a war, exhausted, um, using the fence to help keep him up. But uh, it was a good fight. Ladies and gentlemen, before I announce the winner, I'd just like to say that the ring here is covered in blood as are the tables around ringside. So how about a big round of applause for these two gladiators? This is probably enough to get a drug test. There's a lot of blood up here. All right, our judges scored the fight as follows. 29 to 28, 28 to 29, and 29 to 28, in favor of the winner by split decision. In the blue corner, Steven Young Guns Laura. And Laura definitely redeems, redeems his last uh, loss to uh, Garcia. And I take my hat off to him for that. <laughs>